Museum and Tolerance Centre is located in a landmark. This is the famous Bakhmetev Garage, an architectural masterpiece of the 20th century, which was designed and built by two geniuses of the Russian avant-garde, Konstantin Melnikov and Vladimir Shukov. The Bakhmetsi Garage was opened in 1928 and became the home to a fleet of English Leyland buses. The architect, Konstantin Melnikov, even devised a special parking system for them. They had no reverse gear. In 2012, after the restoration of this architectural masterpiece, the Jewish Museum and Tolerance Centre opened here. This building, in its time a pioneer of modern architecture, has once again, after 100 years, come back to life. По факту мы сегодня самый интерактивный музей в России точно и может быть даже в мире. Мы стараемся быть местом для всех, для всех возрастов, и для детей, и для молодежи, для людей старшего возраста, для людей всех социальных слоев, для представителей всех конфессий, для представителей всех национальностей. Мы хотим быть и являемся, по сути, мультинациональным центром. We are a kind of real uh, ecosystem and uh, like for me, uh, the core of the exhibition of the museum is a permanent installation. It's deep immersion uh, in the history of Jews uh, in Russia. Right. And uh, beside of that, we have a lot of uh, different temporary exhibitions, starting from avant-garde shows that we have been doing since 10 years. The Jewish Museum and Tolerance Center is in the top 10 most visited museums in Russia and one of my favorites. So, what's here? The permanent exhibition is the heart of the museum. Tolerance Center, Schneerson Library, the Avant-Garde Center, Children's Center and Research Center. The permanent exhibition of the Jewish Museum and Tolerance Center tells the story of the culture and religious traditions, the history of the life and settlement of Jews, and of course, the history of Jews in Russia. Don't expect to find a classic museum with exhibits and glass showcases. Here, the interactive exhibits were developed by a famous American agency called Ralph Applebaum Associates. These guys have built museums all around the world. Here, you can get acquainted with the history of the Jewish people with the help of fantastic interactive installations. And it all starts with this amazing 4D cinema experience. Come on, let's have a look. So we put on special 4D glasses. This is exciting. Кто такие евреи? Откуда мы? О, 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 вау! The chairs vibrating. I can feel the birds coming past me. The 10 minute film is dedicated to biblical events and the ancient history of the Jewish people. Yeah. It's raining. Ah! Wow. Very cool. The permanent exhibition consists of 12 thematic zones that tell the story of the Jewish people throughout world and Russian history. The latest interactive technologies plunge us into the atmosphere of bygone eras and help us experience the fate of the Jewish people. We are trying to improve the technology. We are going to museums on new museums. They are going to be in Europe, in Amsterdam. There is an annual museum in Las Vegas. The main goal is the technology and artifacts. And what is used in the museum is to tell the story of the Jewish people. The museum is very young. It was founded 10 years ago. Uh, and uh, we have developing, I think, uh, very quickly. And of course, this type of representation, it makes us different. Uh, we're trying uh, to represent our material in a different way. And of course, that's why we're using very advanced uh, high-tech technologies. And uh, we don't uh, have great, great big art funds as other museums and we're trying to be different even if we're working with avant-garde or with some masterpieces. After that brilliant film we get acquainted with the history of the Jewish diasporas around the world from Argentina to China. One of my favorite diasporas is in Ethiopia. 
we click on this screen, we click on Ethiopia, and the whole history of the Ethiopian diaspora comes up. We're now in the market square of a small Jewish town, or shtetl, and I love these wonderful interactive displays. I love the age-old tradition of Shabbat. Beautifully brought to life in this family seen here. I can join them at the table. This is the Torah scroll. You can only touch it with a special Torah pointer. The Torah is presented in the museum in three languages, Hebrew, Russian, and English. We're now in the famous Fanconi Cafe in Odessa, a hangout for artists, politicians, actors, and athletes. This was a place to discuss business, politics, and culture over ice cream and coffee. The famous writer Shalom Aleichem was a regular here. His stories became famous in the hit West End musical, Fiddler on the Roof. If I were a wealthy man, In the centre of the exhibition is a moving memorial, a place of mourning. People who died during World War II and the Holocaust are remembered here. Six million names, six million dead, all are written here and no one is forgotten. Next, we see several halls dedicated to the period of Soviet history. Conversations around the kitchen table were a famous part of Soviet life. Only in this museum can you listen to a real conversation like this. <laughs> Hello, Slushuvas. Every time I come here, I discover something new. This is one of the most interactive and multimedia museums in the whole world. Евреи народ с очень активной жизненной позицией, и каждый человек любой национальности должен иметь активную жизненную позицию. Он должен стремиться влиять на жизнь страны, должен получать образование и быть лучшим там, где он оказался. И мне кажется, что это стремление нужно каждому человеку прожить жизнь активно, со смыслом, с интересом, с качеством. In addition to the permanent exhibition, the museum hosts outstanding temporary exhibitions, so you can always find something new here, from works of modern art to cinema, music and literature. Here is the space for temporary exhibitions, and now there's Shane Malevich and his early school of suprematism. The museum organizes blockbuster exhibitions with many big international and Russian names, including Marina Abramovich, Anish Kapoor, Roy Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol, Chagall, and many, many others. One of the main places in the Jewish Museum is, of course, the Tolerance Center. The center's program includes trainings, lectures, games, and even performances. Мы понимаем толерантность максимально широко. Конечно, здесь есть межкультурная толерантность, есть межличностная толерантность, а есть толерантность как базовая психологическая устойчивость. Насколько я толерантна к стрессу, например? Насколько я толерантна к неопределенности, например? Насколько я толерантна к конфликтам? Ежемесячно через наши программы проходит ну, где-то 3000 человек. Среди наших партнеров такие крупные и важнейшие организации, как, например, ЮНЕСКО. Мы сотрудничаем с сетью школ ЮНЕСКО. А в 2016 году мы получили премию толерантности. It's time to eat, and the Jewish Museum has a gastronomic cafe called Rishon. Rishon means first in Hebrew, and indeed, this is the first cafe in Moscow with such a high level of kashrut. Here you can hold a business meeting or a family dinner, relax with friends after visiting the museum, or even take food home with you. 
The menu is delicious. It's a sort of fusion with Middle Eastern cuisine, Eastern European Jewish cuisine, and tasty Italian cuisine. And what's more, it's all kosher. Cheers. The famous Schneerson Library is a completely new part in the Jewish Museum. Just look at this beautiful space and all these books. There are three libraries here. The collection of the House of Jewish Books Charitable Foundation, the Library of the Research Center of the Jewish Museum, and the Library of the Schneerson family. This collection belongs to the Russian State Library. And here is one of my favorite publications, Jumping Celebrities by Philip Halsman. He had a solo exhibition here in 2017. This book, as well as many others, can be bought at the museum shop. Many of the books you see are created by the excellent publishing house of the Jewish Museum and Tolerance Centre. Last year, the Jewish Museum and Tolerance Center celebrated its 10-year anniversary. It's not just an amazing museum in which to make discoveries, it's a complete destination, a museum of the 21st century and the future. So come, join in and be inspired.